Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back for another video. We got another another basketball time machine video. Of course, I like I love these videos from Sean David. Um, you guys go check them out. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Subscribe to his channel as well. Uh, we got when the NBA becomes savage. It's killer time. Um, let's get right to the video, man. Let's just let's just hop right into it. Hello and good day everyone, welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine, I'm your host Sean David, thanks for tuning in, let's talk some old school NBA basketball. Now, not too long ago, I watched an episode of NBA Open Court and Reggie Miller was on the show saying that he loved to toy with his opponents back in the days. And this is exactly what I want to talk about in this episode, NBA legends, or no, proving that NBA legends love to toy with their opponents. All right, now the first player that we're gonna take a look at is going to be Steve Francis, AKA Stevie Franchise. Oh, now, if you remember Steve, Steve Francis, Francis, he was incredible with his handles and he had some incredible crossovers and as well. Hops. And in the following play, well, what can I say? It was just unfair. Said it was fair. Oh, Troy Hudson, he, he embarrassed him so bad. Oh, uh oh, he ain't had to do him like that. Then he laughing at him. Whoop. Damn, Troy. Now the next player on my list is going to be Rafa Austin, aka Skip to Malou. Oh, and I'm pretty yeah. sure that most of you guys also are from the and one mixtape generation. Oh, yeah. So you know what this guy can do. And well, what can I say? Let's have a look at his magic. And what a game for Rafa Austin. A career high 30 points, <laughs> a career high 8 Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Walk away. Celebrate what's going on. Obviously, he didn't like Vujicic. He just wanted to commit the foul. Yeah, he got mad and he was messing with him. He was playing with him. Oh, I think they're going to give oh. double I like it on both ways. If you're Vujicic, you're not going to embarrass me with... He said, watch that, watch that shit, boy. Watch that. Watch that. And the next player that I'm going to take a look at is Michael Air Jordan. His royal airness. And it's going to be the oh, first part. Air, Why the first part? Well, as you can imagine, MJ had many toying moments, so I had to split it yeah. in two parts. And the following clip is from his tape, Michael Jordan, Airtime. Let's have a look. It's a joy for me to step in front of that camera when you know millions of people are watching and show the skills and, and the creativity that you have as an athlete. Showtime. <laughs> hey. Jordan with Edwards on the end. Jordan will hammer it. Hammer it again. Rice goes inside as Rice does well. Give me that. Come out of nowhere. Kyle started getting going, man. And it's like you feel it go right through you. Yes. Jordan drives again. Ooh. MJ pushes it up himself. Cross over. Down the lane. And the score. Well, young fella, I'm only going here to jump. I'm not going to dunk on you. Michael, he smiled at Larry and told him just going to take his school. We knew we were going to win. It's just a matter of how we were going to win. So we kind of toured with him. He wants it. He wants it. Sees the double team coming and just goes to the hoop. We were more talkative, yeah, we're good more time. playful, more entertaining with him than any other <laughs> team that we faced. But um, it great. came down to where we had to put these guys away and move on. You know, we did it. Edwards drives it against Jordan. Michael knocks it away and gets it right back. He's got Livingston in his right, Horace Grant in his left. Goes inside. Oh, classic Jordan. He made it look too easy. He's like, he ain't had a pass nobody. He got it. He got it. Now next on my list, I have Jamal Crawford. Now I gotta be honest, oh. I'm not the biggest fan of today's NBA. Jay and yes, Jamal Crawford has retired, but he was one of the few guys that I really enjoyed watching because he was not only spectacular, he was innovative, he had some of the greatest moves I've ever seen. And of course, he loved to toy with his opponents. Let's have a look. Crawford got some crazy handles, man. 
Gotta be top five in the league. Oh my god. Ooh. That shake and bake. He put it right in his face. Take a look at Crawford here behind Ooh. his back. Whoa. Damn. Behind the bed twice. Ooh. As Crawford loses right in that distance. Right. Oh, what a beautiful move to free himself against Wes Matthews. That's see you later. Now from Jamal Crawford to Larry Bird. Again, Larry Bird had some incredible moments. Of course, Larry Bird is in this video. Let me remind you guys of, of the game against the Portland Trailblazers where he announced that he would play the entire game with his left hand, and he almost played the entire game with his left hand. But the moment that I chose was, well, the 60 points against the Atlanta Hawks. Just watch for 60. yourself. 15 remaining in the third. Bird posted left. Takes the jumper and hits it again. Boston by nine. Larry Bird is just unconscious. Bird who feels it and takes it and drills it again. He's unbelievable. I mean, he just shoots it straight up and comes straight through the 54. There's Bird. Bird, 14 seconds. He got fouled. He hit the shot. Oh, boy. He called it. Uh, he said rainbow uh, trainer's lap. You know, Rainbow and he faded back. away, hit the shot, and fell into our trainer's lap. And Bird falls into Joe O'Toole. Larry Bird. What oh, more can you say? Next on my list, I have Dennis Rodman, and this is a different way of toying. This oh, is the psychological Robert. part of the game against shit. Frank Bukowski from the 1996 NBA Finals between the Chicago Bulls the and the Seattle Supersonics. Oh, okay. Man. Never mind. NBA psychology at its best. Underneath the other player, and then makes it appear that in this case, Frank Brokowski is doing the holding. And once again, with the game not in the balance, a 22 point. I remember this game. game. This man, pretty bad memory. <laughs> These are certainly two of the freest spirits in the NBA. With any sort of altercation here that would take away from this beautiful instead of just staring at him. Oh, uh, that's taunting. He just ain't saying that. Not touching him. And Robin and Brakowski get involved. It looks like Pavetta has given the ejection sign to who? This has been growing the last couple of minutes. I think he's thrown both. Out of the game. Okay. Well, Dennis don't care, man. He like the attention, man. He's like the attention. I just think that, you know, Seattle have totally got out their rhythm, out their game, because all they're doing now is trying to mess with me, try to get in my head. But they don't understand, though. You can't mess with the master. Now, I announced <laughs> earlier that Michael Jordan is a two-part section, so let's have a look at some of the incredible Michael Jordan ball fakes. Oh, those ball fakes are crazy. His hands so big and just pawing the ball, just moving around everywhere. That's crazy. Oh, stay on your feet. No, you get his slow ass. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. Please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button and click on the notifications button so you all catch it, bro. Oh, uh, <clears throat> that's a pretty good video. Pretty good video. Uh, yeah, NBA players gonna be savage, man. Like, they be ton of uh, their defenders, uh, or whatever, any kind of way they can. <sighs> Crazy. But uh, let me know what y'all think about the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new to all the good stuff. And um, come back for more videos. You know, any kind of video ideas you got for me, let me know. Till next time, you boy King Smooth. I'm out.